Thank you. You have touched upon several aspects, so I will try to address them one by one. First of all, let me say that uh, the European Union welcomes Montenegro's alignment with EU positions and EU sanctions, and Montenegro's very clear, very clear stance uh, in favor of respect of international law and stability in Europe. Montenegro was uh, one of the countries which supported the vote in the United Nations uh, condemning the Russia's uh, illegal aggression against Ukraine and uh, calling on Russia to stop it and withdraw its, uh, its forces. Montenegro publicly voiced its support uh, for Ukraine's territorial integrity, sovereignty, and condemned the Russian invasion in the same way like the European Union and the majority of the world community did. Uh, and uh, we greatly value Montenegro's consistent 100% alignment so far uh, with the EU foreign policy and security policy decisions. So implementation of restrictive measures and uh, decisions taken is uh, responsibility of national authorities. We expect their robust enforcement by Montenegro authorities and we expect swift adoption of uh, the relevant decisions which have been taken in this context in line with uh, Montenegro's track record so far and in line with Montenegro's strong stance in defense of international law and territorial integrity and sovereignty of Ukraine. Thank you, uh, Peter.